the, the Instagram you were releasing yourself. When did it happen? I was Friday. Friday gone. Yeah. Do you understand that the public in seeing that video is somewhat spooked, grossed out? Like, do you understand? Yeah. What do you have to say? What happened there? Tip to the truth that moment when, when you didn't know that she was videoing, but what happened there? I drink a hard beer with some salt. Because I say, right, yes, I hurt me in my stomach. Because I never drink no tea. And by me say, I can move off. Yeah, brrr, and the dude will come down. And I take it a napkin and wine bottle. And I want to say, I'm going to shoot it up the same night. And then I go down on my knees, go beard, and come back up. So you you did you clean the area after? Yeah, man. You cannot never die grown and not at all. Not never die grown. And we sleep up every, every day, we sweep up every place, clean up every place. Me, you shall sanitize every place. People are saying that this is a regular occurrence. What is your response to that? What do you mean regular occurrence? People are saying, enough time them do them things they don't No, do sir. No. Ah, she, she work of a vouch. And don't them say me in a motor. She work right here. So people are mistaken. Them see the one yeah. video and them believe. And them... What has happened this morning? What's happening here? What did the authorities come and say this morning? This morning, my daughter, she had delicate, and she got to me, and she said, there's one to send the, in, what do you call it? The inspector, them up here, and then come and attack. They said, we are keep on me, no? Welcome to the channel. I am the Jamaican Scoop Diva. In the aftermath of the viral video where a woman, a vendor a crab vendor in hero circle at crab circle is seen you know cleaning herself from bodily excretions believed to be you know d-o-d-o -D -O. <laughs> um the place has been shut down the ministry of health has stepped in and has shut down the place effective immediately that happened yesterday and you know the vendors are not pleased at all because of course this is their bread and butter however i hope they understand that 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 issue that incident that happened is very unsanitary and very unhygienic um that's kind of how cholera among other diseases starts and that's how it spreads um that's not clean and they should not be using any kind of or doing any kind of passing of any excretions in the, the the cook shop or in it's basically a kitchen that's where they cook um now the woman was interviewed and she's saying that you know it, she just had something to drink and didn't agree with her and you know it just ran out but why did you feel the need to clean yourself in the kitchen that's where people eat and so because of that viral video you know she's saying that the person who recorded her um is bad mind maybe so regardless um that should have never happened in the vicinity and so now the good has to suffer for the bad um maybe all of them do it i don't know but the place has been shut down um until further notice one major thing i don't know if this vendor understands how detrimental and how nasty what she did is um maybe it's something that they do regularly however she has said that that is not something she does regularly and it was just in the spur of the moment but um i think she looked rather comfortable and i feel like the other persons in the video who saw what she was doing felt comfortable so that makes me believe this is not the first time this has happened um i never heard her say once that she apologizes to the public um so maybe there's no remorse there um some people have stopped buying from her she claims that people are still purchasing food from her whichever but um in my personal opinion that to me is very nasty it's very distasteful it's very tacky she could have went in a different place where the food isn't i just can't imagine someone passing excretions where food is being prepared bodily excretions where food is being prepared it is beyond me and i don't think she understands how serious this is however um the place was shut down hopefully they will learn proper hygiene and they can reopen and do business properly. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Now, moving on to some very sad news. The father of dancehall artist Topman, born Jamario Hines, has passed away following an accident in Long Hill, St. James, on Thursday. 
Top man known for songs such as Gal Code has spoken about his father, 50-year-old Dillian Aiza Aya Sai Tynes. On multiple occasions, Top man's passion for music was first sparked by Heinz, who was an artist himself and would bring him to his performances as well as the studio. According to the reports, Heinz was one of the several passengers traveling from Cambridge to Montego Bay in a bus that veered off the road into a 500-foot ravine. The area was experiencing extremely bad weather at the time of the accident which impeded rescue efforts by the first responders four students were also damaged during thursday's accident in a photo taken from the scene of the accident the bus heinz was traveling in can be seen badly damaged at the bottom of the ravine now he also went out and posted something on social media top man and he said pain Pain dog, my biggest inspiration and motivation, daddy. And um, it's very unfortunate. And I think he is the only person that passed in this accident. Um, correct me in the comment section if I'm incorrect. And um, I, I want to send out condolences to Topman and his family. And um, let me know what you think in the comment section. Now to the third and final news, which is very interesting, but also very sensitive. Now, the name of the politician has not been revealed and it is for understandable reasons as a child is involved. Now, according to Nationwide News, there is a high level police investigation underway into allegations made that a man who is an employee and associate of a prominent politician actually molested the parliamentarian's young son who is believed to be 10 years old our news center which is the nationwide news center has confirmed that the child's mother has filed a complaint about the alleged molestation for, with the center of investigation for actual offenses and child abusc the alleged ABUSC is said to have occurred in the politician's house in an upscale community in the corporate area in the summer. The male employee of the parliamentarian is accused by the child of kissing him and touching him inappropriately. The child reportedly alerted his mother to the ABUSC via text messages and a phone call. In response to the allegation, a lawyer for the politician says he has filed a report to the children's advocates about the alleged, uh, alleged actions of his employee. The politician's lawyer says he has also moved to ensure that there is no contact between the contract-based employee and the child. The politician's lawyer says he, he confronted the alleged Alistair, but the man denied the allegation. According to the legal team for the parliamentarian, the man who's accused of engaging in an inappropriate touching and contact with the politician's son does ad hoc contract based work for the politician. Both the OCA and the CISOCA are reportedly investigating. Nationwide News will not disclose the name of the politician nor the alleged Alistair in order to protect the identity of the child. So, like I said, I understand why they would want to protect the name of the politician because naturally you'd be able to assume who his son is. But um, I see, you know, people talking. And I this is the, the story I just read is what the news is putting out. So, anything I say is merely assumption or information that I have received or just the opinions of other persons in my circle. Now, some persons believe that it is that the politician did not listen to the mother's first um when the mother first made attention to the situation, he waited. Some persons are wondering why he waited and why he didn't move immediately after the mother was alerted. Because apparently it is alleged the mother lives overseas. I don't know how truthful that is. Correct me in the comment section. But um, it wasn't until the mother herself contacted the authorities. That is when the politician, the popular politician, decided to take the matter in his own hands and possibly get you know um attorneys etc but she has been trying to, to to tell the father which is the politician about this incident so um i don't know how popular this story is it may just disappear who knows but um i will be keeping watch and with that being said this is the jamaican scoop diva Please like, share and subscribe. Please don't forget to hit the notification bell and leave your comments below. Please take care of yourselves.